Hey, how's it going? Uh, thanks for joining. This is Matthew's Fabrication. I've got my friend's uh, rifle out here. It's a Christensen Arms Ridgeline uh, 6.5 uh, PRC with the Vortex Optics uh, PST 5 to 25 by 50 scope. Um, we're putting on, of course, Matthew's Fabrication, uh, Bear Paw Right Ranger Green Cheek Riser um, right here. And so this is going to be an install video. And uh, hey, I'm back. Uh, so my buddy is here, or whatever. I'm installing it for him, or whatever. Um, and he reminded me. I get a little nervous. You guys are just too pretty. Uh, to remember to uh, cycle your bolt back. Um, you can have it all the way up next to the bolt, or whatever, depending on your eye relief and how how much uh, length of pull that you need um, for your rifle and you know depending on where your scope can be mounted or whatever but you definitely want to be able to cycle your bolt um, and put another round in each time without hitting a cheek riser we were able to put it far enough back because this is a uh, short action that he can also remove his bolt um, so that doesn't always happen sometimes you gotta uh, move it down just a little bit uh, to be able to clean your rifle or whatever. So what I like to do is like uh, put it where I want it to be, put some tape on the stock where the uh, slots go. I usually take a transfer punch. I just had to go grab a transfer punch. So I buy these uh, kits transfer punches from Harbor Freight. They're like $9, or at least they were. Um, I don't know what they are now, but anyway, I take the transfer punch and I transfer uh, a dot or a divot or whatever on each uh, side to know exactly where I need to do it. I like to do one side at a time, just in case anything happens. Take a smaller drill bit. This is a uh, probably thirty seconds. side. This is a 5.4 millimeter. I think it's closer to like something else. <laughs> I put what size it is in the description. And then you finish it off with a quarter inch uh, drill bit. Done. 
This is a countersink bit. Just helps clean up the little burrs. This is the Allen Key Hardware Kit that you'll receive. There's a little uh, Allen Key uh, wrench in there. Grab one of the set screws. Put in the uh, Allen Key side in first. Twist it like two, three times. Make sure the washer's on there. Washer goes underneath the head of the uh, Allen nut. There's kind of a textured side on the washer. I like to put that towards the cheek riser to give it a little more grip. Hand tight for now. Leave it right there. Then you can do your next transfer punch. You can either hit it or you can just press real hard. Sharper bit helps. And the last bit is a quarter inch bit. Oops. Move the tape. Take a countersink bit. I also got these at Harbor Freight. Dust, Got some fancy toilet paper. <laughs> Take your hardware, put it through at a little. Oops, this one has two washers on it. Okay, transfer one of the washers to the other. Allen nut. Take the other piece. Screw it in there. My dog's in the background. Adjust it up a little bit. Pinch it down a little bit where it feels firm. And then once it's firm, maybe not quite so firm, these washers really help. Loosen it just a little bit, a little bit more. Then you can adjust it exactly where you need to. Don't press too hard. Mount the rifle stock uh, into your shoulder to get a nice, uh, good mount and then uh, adjust it exactly where you need. Uh, everybody's face is a little bit different or whatever so um, a kid compared to an adult or whatever is going to need a little bit higher than an adult um, but this is my low profile Allen Key hardware Ranger Green Cheek Riser and it looks amazing. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment below and Obviously make fun of me because I'm not a great YouTuber. Uh, thanks again. Have a good one.